Hello, hello everybody, it's Webcraft Chopper back again with a new video, new VTuber drama. This is the Rin Ron story. Everybody told me this is crazy, so let's check it out. Let's see how crazy it is, brother. Okay. Let's check <laughs> okay, it out. Listen, look, look, we're no strangers to scandals in the content oh, creators here. Okay? It has the happened forest. many times over the years. There's been many apology videos made that they've become a meme, right? <laughs> but in all my years of watching YouTube, most of them are pretty bad. YouTube or Twitch or whatever else, even mm -hmm. Hollywood. There has never been a person that speed ran every single possible scandal you can do in one go. <laughs> every scandal? It's like, it's like she was playing a game, a narrative game, and she, she wanted to all speed the war run songs? all the bad endings at once. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, okay, I mean, the story okay. involves drug abuse. It involves sexual relations with the management team. Oh. It involves fan sexual relations. She probably need you, Sanji. It involves Wait, fans? everything, and you know what the worst part Yo. is? The person in question doesn't look intimidating or scary. Like, it's not the kind of person you look at and think, oh yeah, I saw this coming. No. No. I mean, none of those things that he mentioned need the person to look scary for. In fact, he'd rather look attractive, you know, to be able to fuck everybody, actually, like straight up. That's because she looks like this! <laughs> oh, first off. She doesn't actually look like this, okay? But yeah, we get what you it's mean. It's like, it's you adorable. See this and you're like, this is the person that did drug abuse, that <laughs> someone on her management team. This? <laughs> I mean, listen, those eyes, they tell stories, okay? They tell stories. And that story is, I don't know which planet I'm on currently. <laughs> so I can't see it. Comical. It's like a fanfic. So what in the hell happened with Riro, <laughs> and how did it lead up oh, to her God. termination? I, Let's brother, she has pills on her head. Did no one see this coming? Like, come on. And out I mean, imagine I saw her coming. So the extremely sane and well-functioning member of society we're talking about today Real Ron. is none other than Riro Ron, a Real VTuber Ron. that is signed Real with Ron. Idol, Ron. a well-renowned VTuber agency. She joined Idol. them in February of this year, so it hasn't even been 12 months, okay? <laughs> But before joining them as Riro, she was already she well renowned on YouTube with almost half a channel. million subscribers yeah. as a singer. Now the thing is, back when she was a singer, she wasn't really perceived as someone crazy, right? She seemed to be fairly normal. So how did she go from a seemingly normal... I mean, okay, listen. When you sing, you don't really let a lot of your personality into that, okay? Unless you're writing your own songs, so... Uh, ...singer on YouTube to this insane <laughs> person playing a VTuber. The thing is, the character she was playing as a VTuber always gave the impression that she was unhinged and people found it entertaining. But what people didn't expect is that slowly her character was going to seep through into her personal life and make her actually... Is that what happened or her personal life seeped into her character, which I think is more likely. ...we go unhinged herself to the point of creating her own harem comprised of her fans. <laughs> hey, listen, I know we're supposed to look at this and be like, brother, how could she do that? But I mean, listen. I, w I want to see her IRL jawline, because I'm pretty sure that's Chad right there. Okay. <laughs> and you might think Chad I'm exaggerating, but we actually have some form of proof. There's a, a little folder on Mega that contains a few what crazy clips this? of Riroran creating her harem and outlining <laughs> the rules of how she would meet up with her fans. Wait, 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 like wait, this wait. one right here. Let's see. Where her vagina was public use? Uh -huh. They travel. Travel, yeah. Uh, I, I guess, I, I... Why is this oh, creeping me out? Yeah, yeah, why is she talking like that, brother? <laughs> what scared. is wrong with... What this? the hell? Hey, first off, for all my dudes out there, or my chadettes out there, if a woman talks to you, or a man talks to you like this, stay away, okay? You will not meet them. You will get traffic probably to Bulgaria. You don't want to be here. I am telling you. You don't want to be here. <laughs> but she didn't just talk about it. No, that would be too soft for her. She actually went through a lot of specifics. Okay, with an let's extensive see the list of rules. No minors. The first one being... My girl! Right there, I I take everything back. She this my streamer. No minors. And I'm so glad yeah, she, she included that. Listen, she's already better than like 50% of most YouTubers. Like, what the hell? And Twitch streamers, like, what the fuck? Oh, glad. Good job. At least she's That's a where the bar is, I guess. Dream. But then again... <clears throat> Wait, Listen, of course, one of the Wait, Dream's the Minecraft dude. The only drama I know about him is the speedrun shit. Wait, he... Oh my god! 
What did he do? The important requirements is love the Rero. Don't get jealous, but she can get jealous. Don't make her jealous. Very reasonable. Please keep going. <laughs> Rero is... is everyone's idol for her stardust, her okay, fans, right? Okay. This is in Japanese. So like, it's as if she's saying she- Be respectful and tactful with Rero. Rero just is always to go through this. Why is this written right? in third person? But guys, listen, she has to rock because she wants you to be respectful Rero and tactful. chooses who Rero fucks. And she chooses if some no, wish to ask or ready, do boy. something mild instead and i think that means she gets to decide how crazy it gets in the bedroom <laughs> i mean you I... must be familiar with her very important and speaking of important this harem project and what happens in there is top secret guys <laughs> Don't... yeah how did that go <laughs> no single person that you visited someone that looks like this do not talk with other people or other fans about this trip and your experience you understand which makes me wonder how yeah. she got found out <laughs> Brother, how many people have been in there? Is of course, my a question. very important perk at the bottom, the possibility to meet up with a and Rero more. And more. Wink God wink. Damn. More, by the way. <laughs> I wonder what that means in the context of a harem. <laughs> I just can't get over That's what that means. her persona and the shit she's doing. <laughs> What about the drugs? The we got drugs? <laughs> My favorite out of all these uh -huh. is this on the top left, okay? $250 and uh -huh. I take silly pill. <laughs> what does that even mean? So you go on the date and then you pay her to take... A, is it a silly pill or a roofie? What is a silly pill? <laughs> oh my god. Now, at first, I thought this was birth control, which worried the hell out of me. I was like, what? Yeah, that's not a silly pill. What the hell? to not get pregnant? What are you wait, doing? Wait. Building an army? Okay, and... okay, homie. Your mind is fucked. Hey, she's getting fucked, but your mind? Holy. Mega babies? <laughs> Mega but babies? No, nah, it'd be like... It turns out that a babies. silly pill is actually a sleeping pill. A sleeping pill. Wait. Because according... Why would you want to be the woman you're about to have sex with? What was sleep? I just... What? That's so weird. Like, that's like masturbation, but with, like, another person. Ew. What? To her, it makes her go silly. And this wasn't the first time she mentioned sleeping pills. She mentioned them quite a bit on stream. Oh, she's Hence addicted to substance abuse. Wait, sleeping pills are addictive? According to a fan on the virtual YouTube subreddit, I'm not pills. surprised about the substance part. She literally made it a goal of her subathon for her to take a sleeping pill. <laughs> To make her more silly. <laughs> what does that even mean? Sooner or later, that thing would have ended up screwing her in some degree. Yeah. She got a lot of screwing there, brother. Trust me. No sh Here we are. <laughs> After that stream, mm. Idol Corp had to step in and tell her, yo, chill. chill. <laughs> and so she had to make a statement about Aww. what happened. In it, she says, Stardust, I would like to make something clear. During my recent streams, I made jokes about stuff without fully considering how my words or actions might be perceived. I was being playful and joked about subjects that made some of you concerned. Oh, and she I actually apologized. apologized. Please know I'm aware that what I said was inappropriate. <laughs> it does not align with Idol's values or the internal policies. After consulting with management... She didn't say she's sorry about that. She knows what she did is wrong, but she did not feel sorry. I, I, I'll be honest with you. She's honest, and I kind of respect that shit. Like, straight up. Like, she's a degenerate, but she's an honest degenerate. And she's not touching minors, so... Oh, I can't respect this girl. We agreed together like, that I you should do clear you. my head from life. streaming you can and do reflect on you this want. by taking a short break. As I haven't Just been don't in fuck the best mental people. state for some time now. Oh yeah, we know that. <laughs> Thank you for understanding and support. I'll miss you, but I'll be back very soon. So very this was soon. her statement on the harem, of course. Yeah. No mention First off, at what point do you need to actually stop using... Uh, cutesy speech when you're getting your ass shredded on a regular basis like come on brother at some point we gotta stop okay it's not that cute no more like i can see like i was about to say some absolutely disgusting shit i will stop now in the statement itself but there is mention of <laughs> management and look there's a reason i giggled when i saw uh, the word management okay yeah we got it from the intro <laughs> they're complicit management, in, by the way. in one of the worst ways possible Slap ass, all right? because as what i mentioned hell? earlier riro had sexual relations with someone from the management team in idol corp on top of okay that's unprofessional everything else she's been doing so far that's drug abuse and making a harem out of her community and that person <laughs> was none other than their lead talent manager, dude. <laughs> their lead talent manager. Okay. 
She managed to coerce the person who is responsible for all relations. <laughs> and probably the person responsible for hiring her? No? Lead talent management? Like, hey, come on, bro. That's a, okay. That's a little fishy. With creators in <laughs> Idol Corp. If there was one person, just one, oh, that should have never done this or well, accepted probably the CEO as well, you know? It would have been the lead talent. Not like Niji CEO. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop and with Niji CEO. She managed to snatch him into her hair. Surprise, not Niji. <laughs> And Damn. again, I'd like to remind you, this is what she looks like. Okay, well, <laughs> listen, first off, this is not what she looks like to get all that dick flung her way. She wants to look like him. God, damn. I'm Dude, just saying. Listen to her talking and tell me it doesn't make this whole situation funnier when you realize what she's done. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. This is the only thing I don't agree with. You can't use that speech when, you know, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Right. The voice of a criminal, dude! <laughs> but she, she's not done any crimes. None of what she's done is a crime. Okay, we need to chill. This girl, she's doing some degenerate stuff. None of this is illegal, by the way, so we can't talk too much shit, okay? She, it's her life, she can do whatever the hell she wants. I mean, of course, the person behind that, that bad. doesn't look I like mean, this, but it's just that management it's the persona is bad, but, yeah. that is being shown to everyone when it comes to these scandals, and that's what makes it so funny to me. It's like, you? <laughs> You? Now I know what this you. pill right here is for. God damn! Exactly. So this is what led to the termination letter that got posted damn. a few days ago on Twitter and went out. I mean, I imagine they fired the lead manager dude as well because you can't do that. On XXX, yes. There was a lot of XXX there. <laughs> Absolutely viral because here's the thing. When most VTubers leave an agency, it's either because they could yeah. not follow NDA rules, which are very strict, you know, an NDA is pretty much a non-disclosure agreement where you can't talk about something top yeah. secret. Like, oh, we're going to be sponsored by this company. Don't talk about it, for example. Or graduation, which is a playful way of saying they left the agency because they don't want to be here anymore. Mm. But this was the first time a VTuber got terminated with this many... Right, you can also graduate if you just want to pursue other life goals, right? Details. Usually they just say, oh yeah, they broke an NDA, get out of here. Like, without revealing too much to the public. Idol Corp, though, specifically takes a lot of pride in being as transparent as possible and okay. hey you know what dude they earned that title for sure so they say they terminated their contract and the reasoning is through an internal investigation okay here are the reasons misuse of controlled substances during live stream during performances live stream aka the sleeping pills <laughs> soliciting oh fans during live stream members content for private offline meetings the harem <laughs> She's slinging that Meeting vagina, with a fan in person and accepting gifts from said fan a total value of thousands of dollars. Hey, brother, what are you doing? Must have been a special member of the harem. Yeah, that dude. <laughs> Conducting a secretive relationship with a member of the idol management team who has also been terminated upon confirmation of these details. AKA. Okay. I'll be honest with you. This is probably the most morally wrong thing of this. Because especially if the dude also managed other people, that's kind of fucked. Yeah. The lead talent Literally. manager. So because of this, they're shutting down her entire <laughs> Rero Ron YouTube channel and canceling all memberships on the 1st of January 2024, Damn. as well as refunding people who donated to her subathon. Yes, the same subathon oh. where she was going to take a sleeping pill if she reached her goal. Yes. <laughs> Did she so reach the goal? Corp controls all her accounts associated with Riro. She went back to her Kyoresu account, which she barely uses, to address the situation. She said, I was as shocked to see the notice as you are. There is uh -huh. an insane amount of speculation going on, but unfortunately, I can't clarify things because of an NDA, of course. <laughs> I wish I could talk about all this publicly with pure honesty and actual transparency. I'll mm -hmm. say one thing though, I'm extremely disappointed and I have nothing to apologize for. Damn. Yeah, this is what I mean. She's extremely honest. I respect it. I respect the shit out of this, brother. <laughs> My God, Thank damn. you all for your patience during this time. I missed all of you as much as you missed me. We will be so back. With the cherry on top being this tweet right here, which was deleted off Twitter because she violated the rules, doesn't make her case any better. <laughs> me after shooting heroin on stream and f***ing my managers and my fan. Tag your meth head friends. I didn't. <laughs> totally what She's the... <laughs> out of control. She's out of control. Speed running oh bad my God, endings, my I swear hurts. to God. Where's her manager? Fuck. Oh, wait. He got fired <laughs> because he had sex with her. <laughs> Good. He should get fired for that. Don't ask. The response fuck has been interesting. Don't fuck the that. Usually scandals involve a creator thinking, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to make content again. This made her more popular yeah, I mean, in a way. I think. Hey, listen, if people went in knowing what she is and they were okay with that, I don't see a problem. I don't see why this would make her less popular. She just stuck by what she does. She fucks and she does drugs. Sometimes together. 
Nothing wrong with that. I mean, okay, there's a little bit wrong with that, but like, come on, I bro. Think when she gets everything sorted and she comes Your back life. to stream on Your whatever choice. she streams on, she'll have way more viewers. Probably. Because again, if this was like a but crazy listen. guy who did these things, he would be absolutely... Well, okay, listen, if he did these... Mm, I mean, yeah, probably. If she was a guy, yeah. It's probably like, oh, he, you know, his fans and... Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe it's not that okay, but I, I, she was honest about it. I don't know, brother. Destroyed. Oh, no. I'm Never confused. to come back again. But the brain confused. This cute little, <laughs> little gremlin. Anime girl. Absolute goblin of a character. In terms of her persona, <laughs> it just makes it funny in a way. Almost like the Look whole thing goblin. is a meme. <laughs> Suckling on. Speaking of memes, <laughs> you know, there were a lot of corny. jokes that were made out of the situation. With memes like this coming up, can you explain all your allegations in your resume? <laughs> no, I signed an NDA. <laughs> Technically true. Technically true. <laughs> but it wasn't all laughs because oh. other people, other VTubers in Idol Corp yeah. were shocked. Yeah, as I said, this is probably awful for them because you had a dude that's supposed to be helping your career and other people's career. And now you find out that he's doggy styling the talent, only one of the talent. And you're like, okay, I see why he didn't help me too much. You want to doggy style me as well? As hell. Probably. I mean, imagine you're in an agency and you find out the lead talent manager, someone you've worked with, yeah. has had sex with one of your coworkers. <laughs> in fact, this ripple wasn't just felt within the corp itself, it was felt all over the VTuber community. Damn. Because as I said, it really is unprecedented. Look, I, like is many it? others, will be watching this very closely to see what happens. Because like I said, it's one of the craziest things involving scandals. Is she going to make an apology video? I hope there's no ukulele. Or is she just going to double down like she's already... Who did an apology on a ukulele? What did they apologize for? If it's something serious, that's in incredibly insensitive. <laughs> ...done and just come back with even more viewers. Probably. Either way, I'm guessing this on doesn't the second really part. help the reputation of VTubers who are already seen as ridiculously unhinged. <laughs> And it makes me wonder, should I keep going with the VTuber route? Because I am working on the model right now. Am I going to end up like her? I hope not. But for now... I mean, it depends. What do you do with your fans and your manager, huh? You dog eating as well, huh? I just need to go get an oxygen tank because I've been laughing way too hard. Yeah, same. This was dope. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. People, a lot of people want me to check out this. Uh, I see why. I see why. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little out there. I respect her, though. She's a little... Yeah, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, uh, check out the stream later on today. I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. <laughs>